So now we're on to step five. And so the first thing that we're gonna do with step five is we're gonna turn the bag and lining right side out. So we're gonna go through that opening in the lining and we're just gonna pull on the bag and then keep pulling until we can get all the bag out and then the lining will go right side out. And so once we do that, in that opening in the lining, I'm just gonna iron that down to make sure my seams are still folded there at where, where they should be for the opening. So then the instructions say to slip stitch the opening closed, but I just took it over my machine and stitched extremely close to the edge to close that up. So now we are on to step six, and the first thing we're gonna do is now that we've closed that hole in the lining, is we're gonna put that lining back into the inside of the bag. And then I am going to go around the very edge here and make sure that the lining is in the inside and the bag is on the outside and that the seam here is um, nice and crisp. So I'm gonna go around and iron it. It just gives the bag an extra um, nice look at the end. So I'm going to iron it down and then I'm going to take it over to my machine and I'm going to top stitch all the way around my bag, probably at about a quarter of an inch. So now that I've top stitched the bag all the way around, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pattern piece number two. And what I wanna do is, there's all these uh, circles all around this pattern piece, is I wanna mark where those circles are because that is what tells us where the center of each grommet should be. So I'm just gonna use my pattern piece and go ahead and stick a pin in at each of those circles to mark where my eight grommets, grommets should be placed on my bag. So now that I've marked where my grommets should be, I'm gonna go ahead and take this template that came with my grommets and the very center of it, I'm marking up with where the center of my grommet should be. And then I'm taking my chalk and I'm marking the circle around. And so you're just gonna keep marking until you get a good circle um, that will show where the grommet should be placed. And I'll show a picture next of what that circle will look like.
So now that I've marked that circle, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out the circle, but I wanna make sure I stay in, into the inside of the circle. So I still should see that white outline of the circle when I'm done cutting it out. So as you can see here, this is the circle I cut out. You can kind of still see the white chalk outline around it. Now this is the top piece that I'm gonna be sticking into the front of my bag. And this is what the back of it looks like. The back piece has little spikes coming out of it. So you need to make sure you have the front piece in and we're just gonna stick it in just like this. And then we're gonna flip it over and stick the back piece on just like this. And using the heel of our hand, we're just gonna push those together until we hear a click. And this is what the grommet looks like when it's done. So here's another picture sh clearly showing the white outline that should remain from you cutting your hole. It is extremely important that you cut your hole on the smaller side rather than the larger side. If you cut it on the smaller side, we can always adjust it to make sure that the grommet fits in it. But if you cut it too big, there's no coming back from it. We've ruined the project because the grommet won't hold the fabric correctly. So always make sure you cut a little smaller than rather than bigger. So here you can see I have all eight of my grommets on and this is what they look like when they're all attached to your project. So now that we have all our grommets attached, we can go ahead and start step seven. So for step seven, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cording and we're gonna start in the back of the bag where that seam is and we're gonna start to loop our cording in. So we're starting with the two middle grommets and we're sticking our cording into each grommet. And then we're gonna move away from the middle, just looping them in and out all the way around until we get to the middle of the bag in the front of the bag. So now that I have my cording looped all the way through, I'm gonna go ahead and take the edges. I'm gonna overlap them by about a half an inch here, just like this in the middle of those two grommets. Then I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew these down. This is a little difficult, so you have to take your time and you, make you wanna make sure you back tack as much as you possibly can. So as you can see, I've started, I'm coming down onto my next one and then I'm gonna back tack to sew those into place. So now that I've sewed my cording into place, I can go ahead and I can grab my one and three quarter inch button. So as you can see here, this is where it's sewed and I'm gonna place my button right on top of them in the middle and I'm gonna hand sew that on. Once I've had that hand sewed on, I'm done with my bag and this is what the finished product looks like.